Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today marks the beginning of a brand new celebration on the global side of the game and honestly guys, I could not be happier about it. I mean, <laughs> the 300 million download celebration was not so kind to me and I'm just so glad it's finally over. But without further ado guys, let's focus on this new celebration we have going on here. It's called the Wrathful Outburst Showdown on Planet Namek Special Campaign. And it says, engage in a decisive showdown against the approaching formidable foe on Planet Namek. Uh, Wrathful Outburst, blah, blah, blah. A new series of events are available. New SSR Goku and Final Form Frieza will show up in the Tokan Festival. And also, luxurious login bonuses, new story event, new Extreme Z battles, and a new challenge event will also be available during the event period. That all sounds awesome. Let's check it out. Okay, so number one, we have a login bonus. Pretty standard right there. Number two is the missions. Number three is the Dragonstone sale, which honestly is quite disappointing. It's only 132 stone pack and 391 stone packs. Kind of a garbage sale if you ask me, but I guess it's a regular celebration, so you can't expect the same sales as a major celebration like the download celebration or the anniversary, but Honestly, I was still hoping for more, but what can you do? Okay, next up is a Dokkan Festival, of course, with the new Namek Goku, who is amazing. He looks, I mean, for the animations alone. The animations alone, I feel like, are worth summoning for, but uh, he also leads one of the best categories, if not the best category in the entire game, the Super Saiyan category, and uh, this Frieza is also really good, so... Um, I mean, I will withhold my judgment for whether or not everybody should summon um, until we see the actual banner, but I gotta say, I really want him, and I will be definitely summoning, so stay tuned for a summoning video, guys. And number five, we have a Pilaf's Trove Pack, and I believe this is the source of the Dokkan Festival tickets that people uh, found in the files, so essentially, uh, there were some leaks about a Dokkan Festival ticket, and some people were saying, oh, we might get tickets for doing multis on the Goku banner, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure unless things change, um, there's nothing about a ticket here, so I'm assuming that the only way you can get those tickets uh, will be through the Pilaf's Trove, and... I mean, if it's t if it's tickets for this banner, it's not too bad, but you still have to pay for it, which I don't love. Uh, it would have been great if we actually got tickets for just doing multis, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Like I said, I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure about how this is all going to work, but I feel like if there were going to be tickets for this banner, um, as far as like doing multis to get tickets, it would have said something about it. They would have advertised it, but... Uh, it looks like it's just exclusive to the Pilaf's Trove. I mean, honestly, I don't even know if these tickets are for this banner, but I'm just assuming. Um, I guess we'll get more details soon, but uh, yeah, it looks like Pilaf's Trove will have some tickets for a Dokkan Festival banner of some kind. Maybe this banner, maybe another banner, who knows. Um, I'm not gonna buy it though, because I hate the Pilaf's Trove. It's stupid. Okay, number six, we have a Super Saiyan category summon, of course, because this guy does lead the Super Saiyan category. Uh, number seven is a Goku ticket sum. Okay, so basically, this banner and the tickets that you get for it are going to be available through the Fighting Legend Goku, or uh, previously known as the Legendary Goku event. And essentially, you can get the tickets for this banner right here when you clear this event. And it is quite a challenging event. Um, I don't know like exactly how hard it is because I've never tested it out myself and never ran it before, but. From what I've heard, by all accounts, it is uh, quite a bit harder than the Infinite Dragon Ball History event, and I definitely will be trying it out when it comes out, which is in actually at reset today, so in a couple hours. Uh, I definitely will be doing a stream uh, probably sometime tomorrow challenging it, but um, for now, I can't say for sure how hard it is. I've just heard from word of mouth, people telling me that it's a really hard event, so uh, get prepared for that guys. So once you beat that, you do get stones, and also some tickets for this banner right here. And it's an all Goku banner, but there's also the LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku in there as well, so there's a chance you could pull him through that ticket banner. And number 8 is the new Dokkan event for the Super Saiyan Transforming Goku. Number 10 is a new story event where you can get the um, free to play second form Frieza, and then he also gets an Extreme Z Awakening at the exact same time, so both of these will drop tomorrow, so you farm the Frieza, and then you Extreme Z Awaken him through his Extreme Z battle event, and this is a regular 
Extreme Z battle guides where you get 30 stones for the first 30 levels, not like an Extreme Z area, which everybody, I don't want to say everybody hates, but a lot of people don't like. Um, so I'm glad that, you know, it's the regular Extreme Z battle for this guy. And number 10 is the um, Kid Gohan Extreme Z battle coming back, just a return. I don't think there's anything new added to that. And number 13 is the physical, no, it's a AGL Piccolo, AGL Piccolo event, uh, Extreme Z battles coming back as well. And uh, you get the Piccolo from this event and you get the Gohan from this event. So these are just reruns. They're not like revamps or, you know, anything new added to them. They're just basically a re-release of these. And then number 16 is a um, training success rate doubled thing. I don't, I don't really care. Uh, you don't really care either, I'm sure. Number 16 is a new Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, which is always a good thing. We get about 30-ish stones every time we get one of these. And uh, of course, those Battlefield Memories, which allow you to buy things from the Battlefield Shop. And I'm definitely going to be picking up those medals for my LR Ginyu, so I can finally, finally beat Ginyu Force Super Battle Road. Man, that has been the hardest SBR for me, no question. And number 18 is the Hercules Heart Pounding Gift. So basically between the 10th and the 20th for 10 days, we will be getting the Hercule present thing at login. And you can get between one to seven stones and some other stuff as well. Um, last time this came around, I only got one stone every single day. I did not get a single three stone login bonus. So hopefully that changes this time around. So there's that, which is great. And number 19 is the Dokkan Festival. Oh, okay. So a bit of a surprise here. I don't know about this. I don't know about you if, if you guys knew, but um, we are getting the Buhan Extreme Z Awakening uh, on Global. And uh, for that, of course, we have the Extreme Z Battle Event. We have the Extreme Z Banner. We have the Pilaf's Trove thing, which is always an option. But like I said, I never recommend it. And uh, number 21 is a Patara Category Summon Banner. I usually tell people to stay away from like these category banners as well it's totally your choice if you want to summon but i just don't feel like it's really worth it for your stones um number 23 is the uh, super blue event it's going to be available every single day for the duration of the celebration and i think the last few are just the return of the lr goku and arale events so if you guys haven't farmed them yet then there's your chance again and uh the lr goku and arale is a really really good free-to-play lr but um, if you guys already finished them, then there's not really any reason, I think, to go back in. Unless there's... Actually, you can get those blood rubies, I think. You can get blood rubies in this one right here. I forgot what else you can get from these, but there's basically Baba's treasures. You can exchange for, like, Kai's and stuff like that. So if you want to farm those, that's something you could do, but uh, otherwise, not super exciting there. And that is going to do it for this celebration, guys. It's not a bad celebration at all, actually. I think it's actually pretty... Uh, full as far as events go and let's just check out this yo I hate this banner so much let's just check out these login bonuses I think it's gonna be one stone a day for the whole duration yeah okay so every day we get one stone and for missions let's see how many stones we can get for the missions uh, up to 31 stones not terrible not terrible okay so one stone a day as well as some more stones for clearing Dokkan events for clearing extreme Z battles or clearing hidden potential or uh, activating hidden potential all that good stuff. Okay, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. That is the celebration. I am very excited for this Goku, I'll be honest, but at this point, after all the shaft I've been through with the 300 million uh, downloads, I have no hope that I'm gonna pull him. So I'm probably gonna do like one video, maybe two, and uh, call it a day. So <laughs> stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you guys are excited for the celebration as well, and uh, good luck on your summons. As always, if you liked today's video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you'll like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.